So this was the first time that John was able to ride in a Sherp, and he saw that tree right there, the one without all the bark on it, and he thought it would be a good idea to try to see if we could push that over. Now, that tree is fairly sturdy, and I didn't think that would work, but hey, if somebody wants to try something, I'll give it a shot. Pretty tight area there that I'm turning around in. Um, the Sherp spins very easily on mud and ice and areas that are slippery, but when there's a lot of vegetation like that, she has a tendency to grip. It takes quite a bit of power, um, but I was able to get her around. So what my goal was is to take the passenger wheel there and I was going to try to drive that up that tree. Um, might be able to notice that terrain there is a little bit iffy in the first place, but driving up a tree makes it even worse. As I was going up there, it slipped off the tire and whacked down onto the bumper. So I attempted to get another uh, try at it. You can kind of see how steep it is by looking at the top of the shirt. It's a lot steeper than what it looks like on the video. There, back wheel completely off the ground. <laughs> Sherps are a blast, people. Sherps are a blast. So, off to our next area. This happened to be an overflow from the main pond. Uh, the water is probably maybe six inches deep at the deepest. One of my favorite things to do on the ice is once you're spinning around in a circle and then you, you know, start to activate all the wheels again so they're all spinning and you continue to spin around, it's a pretty neat feeling. Again, this water is very, very shallow. Obviously, we're on the ice right now. watching here you're going to see me break through when I broke through I revealed some friends see how it kind of popped up where I broke through there
Which house is she living in there? That one. That's my, that was my grandma and grandpa's house. Okay. 